Hey babes, hello, hello, hello. So I came across this video, this interview with Travis Scott. Now he's breaking down what he sees within the Travis Scott interview. And honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. In fact, I've been saying this myself since the beginning of all of the, the tragedies at Astro World. So here we go. I'm going to be stopping it um, just to speak in between just to put my input and how I feel at the, those moments as well. Back to the channel. So Travis Scott has responded to all the allegations of his concert at Astroworld being a demonic ritual, being a sacrifice, and what he feels about it. Now, I have... Honestly, I have not watched this whole video. I have only seen a quick clip of the interview. I have not watched the entire interview. Um, this is the most of the interview I have watched. So here we go. Sorry. Just being frank, on my channel, close to 800,000 views on just the Travis Scott situation of was it a ritual, was it demonic, all the symbolism. This is not conspiracy we're talking about. This is right out in the open stuff he's posted. So he's finally done an interview. We're going to watch together his... Exactly. Like, what he's saying is not a conspiracy. Everything, we're seeing it with our own eyes. And I've been said that. I said they're not hiding it anymore. It's right in our face. It's not subliminal anymore. It's right in our face. I've scrubbed through some of this. It's a 50-something minute interview. We're not watching the whole thing. Hell no. But I want to talk about a little bit of my thoughts on this. And it's actually shocking what you're about to see, what he's going to say about the whole situation. So let's watch this here together. We're 25 minutes in starting here, by the way. Some people say um, your, your, your music played a role in this. Like I've seen them you know, cite lyrics, you know, that encourage this kind of behavior. I've seen him say your music is demonic and this was a satanic ritual. Mm. You, you think you Funny how he says it like that. <laughs> music is the blame? I mean, no. I'm a, I mean, one, I'm a man of God. So <laughs> that's the first thing first. And, um, you know, so See, the question is, who is he referring to as God? <laughs> he's a man of God, yet everything he does is showing me, you know, like a satanic ritual, demonic. Oh, I'll see you on the other side, you know, Ugh, the soul snatching. And he literally says it. Hold on. It's just... Hold on. Did he just, did he just say what I think he said? Yeah. Hold on, let's go back really quick and watch that one more time. Did your, was your music to... Hold on, I just want to make sure I'm still recording because this thing goes out on me all the time. Blame for any of this. Like I've seen them, you know, cite lyrics, you know, that encourage this kind of behavior. I've seen them say your music is demonic and this was a satanic ritual. You, you think your music is to blame? I mean, no. I'm a, I mean, one, I'm a man of God. So that's the first thing first. And, um, you know, so it's just, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> no, I'm a man of God. You know? Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You know, your music is just like self-expression. You know what I'm saying? And at these shows, I feel like people kind of like look at things. And if you've been to a Travis show, it's, it's been different layers of shows, you know? I think people are just, you know... Layers. Misconceptions and taking things I've seen. Different layers of shows. Ooh, that's creepy. Did that make your skin crawl? And, you know, all type of things, you know. Um, and I've, I've Just really quick, let me recap. On stage, it said, see you on the other side. Yes. With all these portals, all this demonic yes. imagery, yes. posting stuff that was completely demonic. Yes. His lyrics, which we won't even go into, are openly demonic. Yeah. And his response is, I'm a man of God. <laughs> I mean, look at his lyrics, look at his lifestyle, look at what he preaches behind the st on the stage. Yeah. And he's going to try to say he's a man of God completely not taking any responsibility. Nope. Now, I don't know if you've ever had a conversation with someone and you just blatantly knew they were lying. Right. Or you blatantly knew they weren't telling the truth. Or you blatantly knew they weren't being sincere. Yeah. And watching some of this interview, I didn't watch the entire thing. I have never seen a video or somebody get interviewed that is less sincere than this video. And if you... Can I just say something? God's people can't watch his stuff. Our souls don't allow us to. As he says, he hasn't even watched the whole interview, nor have I. 
I have never listened to a, a Travis Scott song. Never. I don't don't know any of his lyrics. I don't wish to know any of his lyrics. You understand what I'm saying? I couldn't watch the concert. I had to watch it in itty bitty clips because it's that bad. Notice him continually stumbling over his words, continually pausing, making breaks. Now, again, I'm not saying he has to be... And continuous to say, you know, you know what I mean? You, 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 I say that, but this was like after every single thing he said, like he's trying to think of it quickly. Um, and to replace that pause, you say, um, or you say, you know what I mean? As you're thinking of your next thing to say. <laughs> you get it? He's a great speaker, but what I am saying is you can blatantly tell he's, he's just lying. making stuff up as he goes. He's yeah. just completely lying through his teeth. Yeah. And to say he's a man of God, even though he has openly demonic lyrics, is laughable. I think what he should have done is apologize and take responsibility. But It's not laughable. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not laughable. Hot to Killer compares to other Hold on, let me pause here. Honestly better. Because apologize and take responsibility, but instead he gets asked... Was this satanic? Is your music have anything to blame? His response is, I'm a man of God. What? Like, <laughs> no responsibility, no no saying, well, you know, yeah, I mean, some of my shows, we do yes. encourage raging. We do encourage demonic worship. We do encourage people to lift their hands and worship and praise as though he said it in his concert or the fact that he was continuing to chant while those dead bodies being lifted right below him on video. Yeah, that was no so eerie. no responsibility and says, I'm a man of God. And... Who's buying that? Who's buying this? Let's keep watching this. I, I, I took pride in trying to, you know, grow from where I was when I first recorded music to now we're going in music. Um, so, yeah, I just think people got to, and, and that's one thing with me, it's just got, people got to kind of, um, you know, experience it sometimes. And I think that's what it was, you know. People. He wants people to experience it sometimes. Experience what? His demonic rituals. Not his godly rituals. <laughs> kind of like even before people were no about it, about it just all over the board. It and taking away their own thing. And it's always going to be an outside opinion. But, you know. Wait a minute. Can we go back a little bit? That might have been too far. There's no good attack it. just all over the board. It and taking away their own thing, and it's always going to be an outside opinion. But, you know, for the ones that, you know, really believe in me and, you know, understand what, we're, you know, what I'm about. And what I'm for the ones that believe in me. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Doing, no, that's not. That's not what I'm, you know, I'm preaching. I always preach like love, always preach understanding, always preach, you know. He always preaches love and understanding, yet. He, he when <laughs> I saw a clip at a different concert of his, he pointed a person out and said, rage on him. And they all started attacking him. How is that preaching love and kindness and understanding? And no, you're lying, motherfucker. Oh, my God. I'm so upset. Take care of your loved ones. Love each other. You know what I'm saying? Get out your ideas. Never let never let yourselves be stopped, you know. Love one another and step into that, you know. Um, I mean, I think that's a part of it, but the music does encourage people to be violent at, at these shows. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that's what the rage is about. That's what the He's rage is about, yeah. He says, come on, bro. Come on, dude. You know, you know your lyrics are causing violence. The rage is what they call it. Like, his music's about raging. It's about being violent. It's about tearing down barricades, which had happened earlier in the day. And he's, again, this is a 15 minute interview. No responsibility. He's like, my music's about, you know, taking care of your family, love and acceptance. No, it's not. It's completely demonic. Guys, he's facing several billion dollar lawsuits because 10 people died. I totally agree with this dude. His name is Isaiah. Totally agree with him. I I I know <laughs> I'm not the only one that sees through his his BS. Like ten people really died at his show, and he's completely just disregarding it. And I love what the interviewer is saying. He's like, "Come on, dude. Your you're music, lying. You know, you know your music incites violence. You yeah. know it's oh you're it's open. You can just read the lyrics. Yeah. Is this?" Completely skirting around it. Most of the music is is, is me 
sometimes talking about what I see at the shows. Oh, brother. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, this man is just making it worse on himself. Like, for all this, he should have just stayed silent. Like, oh, wow. I'm glad. I'm glad he's sabotaging himself. <laughs> I am. Uh oh. My phone froze. Oh, my phone's on. There we go. You know, and so it's just, that's just, you know, the energy. You know what I'm saying? But the energy isn't to come in. It's the energy. What have I been saying? He literally admits it. It's the energy. And what kind of energy do you feel when you watch his stuff that I show you? Demonic energy. Start. Violent and just being violent and hurting each other. That's not, that's not what it's about. So yes, it is. It's supposed to be entertaining. Yeah, so everything is, you know, and it's about what you experience at the, you know, at the shows and what you see, you know. Or what you it's experience the at the shows and what you see. So what did they experience? They experienced hell. They experienced death. What do they see? They see portals. They see souls being transformed transferred into these portals they see this man humming very weirdly as bodies are being lifted in the air what the hell is that it's the energy he's telling you without taking the blame <laughs> what do you think these are some really straight you know, questions what happened you know what happened here wasn't off Travis Scott music yes it was was it? That was it. <coughs> Excuse me. He's saying what happened there. He said here. What happened there? Um, it wasn't because of Travis Scott's music, but it was exactly that. It was. It, it didn't happen with anybody else that came on. It only happened with Travis Scott. Hmm. Oh, now you need to like. Sassy. No, I mean I've made all different type of music. Since music in the first place, you know, um, I've never was just like one lane or one genre, maybe. He was I'm never just, just one artistic. genre. Have you ever seen him do pop music? Have you ever seen him do R&B? Have you ever seen him do country, blues? Because that's really the only genres besides uh, heavy rock metal and stuff like that. Have you ever seen him do Christian? No. His genre is his genre. He's lying again. And he has no problem lying with a straight face. It's all about experiences, and I feel like, you know, you know, it could be music to come out of it. Um, yeah, and he's going to use the music to come out of it. And, <laughs> wow. Th this is disgusting. This is just emotion. Uh, you know, music is emotion. Um, it's emotion, and you're snatching but, people's emotions. Music is healing. Um, healing for you, healing. not for them. Ten people died. Find healing and found emotion. And, Ten know, people died in his set. You know, um, and just more progressive. You know, and now he's progressing. <laughs> now it's just more progressive. <laughs> oh my God. How are y'all letting him get away? How does he still have fans? Are you freaking kidding me? Progressive. You said you're a man of God. And when I even said that, you know, they say your music is satanic. I saw the face that you made. Where do you, where do you think that even comes from? Travis Scott is satanic. Travis Scott is I just funny. think it's just things people collect. You know, people look at the internet and they just collect. Things you post. And they things and they look at no, music. no, I didn't collect nothing. All I collected was your energy that you were stealing from others. So, you know, we have all these theorists and people just think. It's not a theory. They just don't understand, you know, just the idea of like what art might be or what, what you're trying to do. Just it's not message. art. Not People out, are like, dead. Look how he's rocking back and forth. It, it, it's not it's serious at all. So as you guys can tell by his questions that i'm not the only guy saying it was a satanic ritual like me look, either there's a high chance that these guys saw my videos because again they have almost a million views on youtube but there was tons of other guys making videos saying it was a satanic ritual and me. people on tiktok saying it so he keeps asking the question because it is a that's the 
I swear, I, I, I don't think I was the first person, but I'm like one of the first persons that really dives into this spiritually. And I had to stop because that's how demonic it was. Message that he sent out when he did the show, him saying it's community events, no big deal. Like I wasn't putting out that message in my lyrics. It, absolutely he was. So this whole thing, he's lying through his teeth. Yeah. He's trying to save face. This whole interview, I'm glad the guy interviewing him is totally being blunt about it. But yeah. His responses are him trying to save face, just like when he apologized the night of it. I'm sorry, the people that died, completely insincere, yeah. reading off of a script or teleprompter. Uh, he's just trying to save face here, and yeah. he needs to be held accountable yeah. to this. He needs to be held accountable to 10 people dying. Yeah. And, um, and what he did, it was absolutely demonic. Everything absolutely. he was doing was demonic. Everything he was saying was demonic. The stage set was demonic. Yes. The words on stage to you on the other side was demonic. He said in his tweet, you guys know what you're coming for. Like, let's rage. And the people said, it's sold out. And he's like, that doesn't stop anybody from getting in. And ended up, that's how people were. It was over capacity as people were pushing in, yep. breaking down the barricades. And that's what and ultimately ended Cause up. Because he knew what he was time. coming but, for. Yeah, this was he was coming demonic, for souls, so baby. Try to skirt around and say what. He was coming for souls. I don't know if there's any more to this.